house. I'm going to be applying some Loctite epoxy. This is about $5. You get it at like Lowe's Home Depot. This is white to match the bathtub. We have a little scuff mark in the bathtub. Actually, three little scuff marks. So what you do is you just pop the top off. Actually, the top stored there. You have to cut off the little, little nipples with a sharp knife. And as you squeeze it out, you're going to have one that's kind of a puke color and the other one's kind of a white color. You mix it together and this is what you get. All I did is I cut a plastic container to get these little stir sticks, cut them off, cut little squares off. And they make really good stir sticks. Um, actually stir paddle. But we'll show you what we've got going on down here. Um, we have a crack. Not a crack, it's a chip. Then we have two little chips and I don't know what that is. That's not a chip. Maybe that is a chip. Heck, I don't know. Yeah, it feels like a chip. I'll fill that one too. But what you do is take a little sandpaper and you just sand it out, and sand it out, sand it out, and then you wipe it off really well. And you just take your uh, epoxy, try not to get it on your fingers. It doesn't stink, so that's good. But you try to get just a little bit of it, and I have one for stirring and applying, then the next one is for smoothing it out. And it may take you a couple times, and this stuff cures in about, I think they said, 24 hours is totally cured, and then um, you can pretty much touch it after two hours it sets. So that's all I'm going to do with that. Get a little bit more epoxy here. And then I'm going to try to make a couple drips to drip down into those round holes. Now, I don't know how those ha happened. I think they were here when we moved in. So let's see if we can get it to drip a little bit. This stuff is really thick. Let's see what we can do here. That's too much. You can wipe it off too. You can wipe it totally off. So if you make a mistake, it'll come all the way off. So let's just kind of try to fill that in with a drip like that. And then we'll come over to this one, do the same thing. There's a hair in that one. I'll have to pull that out. There we go. And I'm going to get a little bit more epoxy on my applicator here. That, and we're going to try to really just put just a little bit in this little one right here. There. Okay, now what I'm going to do is get that hair out of that one for one thing. I have to mess with it again because when I pulled the hair out, the epoxy came out a little bit. So, let's do that. Okay, so that's good. Now we're going to get some of the epoxy off of this. And I'll do that with a little piece of toilet paper. So we'll wipe off the epoxy. Try not to get it on your piggies. Let's move this off before I tip it over. And now we're going to try to just take the top off. Like that. Get another little piece of toilet paper. Just like this. Wipe the excess off your applicator. And just like that. We're going to leave that little one. Now let's come back to this one over here. That one's a little more challenging because it's a, it's on an angle. It's on an angle going up. So let's try to do it in two pieces here. There's that one. And we're going to try to go up. See if we can do it. There. That's it. Now we're not going to touch it. And in 24 hours, you're free to run your water on it. Now this is supposed to be able to be applied underwater too. So it's really good stuff. Let me stand up here a sec. All right, hat for hat around the house. If you like our videos, um, let me give you a close-up of what we're, what we're using again. It's just the Loctite epoxy, two-part epoxy. It's really good stuff. Gives you all the information on the back. Hat for hat around the house. If you like our videos, subscribe.